Hi everyone, uh, this is just a quick video to show you how to add a pastoral care entry um, for any behaviour, could be positive, um, could be a bit of a concern you've got. Um, what I like about this is that the housemaster's CC'd um, in on this. They don't need to do anything at all if it's level one, level two, um, but again, it's a great central database for us when we're looking back historically on a student or where they are currently. So um, the tab you need to click on in Teacher Kiosk is Pastoral Care, and you click on Pastoral Entries, and uh, that's what it looks like. Um, there's a little tab there that says um, Bulk Add or New. Uh, this is a great feature if you want to add in, say, two or three boys' names, uh, and it will be sent out to the various house masters. And this is here just for an individual. Okay, so um, once you've clicked new, um, I'll just, yeah, once you've clicked new here, okay, um, you can add the student's name in there um, and then start to fill out what's occurred. So behaviour-wise, conduct, okay. Um, this could be something as teasing, pushing and shoving, level one outside the room, to disruption to class as well. Okay, uh, a number of different ones here. Um, level two is continual misuse of technology. Um, so you can just add that in. The outcome, so what did you do um, to address the behavior? Um, again, it might be something as um, simple as a conversation you had with them, sort of conversation, um, and um, put that in the outcome. Um, I won't go session, but conversation there. Little comment, remembering this goes to the house master. Um, spoken and warned student about behavior. Okay. Um, and again, at level one, this may be a one-off. One um, um, if it gets to continual breaches, um, you should be looking to level two general, level two behavior um, with uh, an email or contact to the parents if we get to that stage. Uh, once again, CC the house master on this and then submit new, um, remembering field is required, the student there. So. Um, Hope that explains things. Again, email or contact student services if you've got any problems uh, with this process. Thank you.